Well, welcome back to the channel. For those that don't know me, my name's Nick, and what I'm going to be doing today is installing the Halo Go by Road Angel dash cam. Okay, so here we have the Halo Go Road Angel uh, dash cam. It's one of the budget ones. It was about £79 at the uh, NEC, so I picked it up. What I've also picked up is the uh, the accessory there, which means you can um, put it in parking mode and it's got a sensor on it as well, which will detect if your battery is getting low, your starter panel. So let's have a look first at the camera so it's pretty basic really um, but that's what I wanted it hasn't got a screen on it or anything um, and that is pretty much it there and then you just literally fit it to the screen by the uh, 3m pad there uh, but you download an app which I'll show you which um, controls everything and you can see what your camera is viewing so what I'm going to do initially to start up with is uh, I'm going to uh, install the app and I'm going to run it off the cigarette lighter socket just to position it on the dash to decide where I'm going to put it and I'm going to hardwire it in uh, with that there. Um, what else comes in the box? You've got the one that goes into the the lead that goes into a USB and a cigarette lighter socket in here for your USB. Yeah, in there and I think there's actually a little trim tool as well which is handy just so you can hide the wires behind the trim and a spare 3m pad as well so uh, let's have a look in it this was 20 pound this was this this hard wiring kit um, yeah you've got lots of different options here to choose from so they've given you every possible option for every type of fuse really that you might get in the vehicle because you'll just go to the fuse box and piggyback off the uh, existing fuse box and then that will run to the uh, to the camera and then whichever one you choose that'll just fit in there like that and i think with this one you actually need a permanent live so that obviously when you switch the engine off, it still um, records so that it'll record what's going on around your van. And depending on how long a memory card you've got will be how long that uh, records for. So you might get eight hours or whatever it happens to be. But this little box here, apparently what that does is detect your battery voltage, your starter battery voltage. But if it drops below, I've had a look in the instruction, if it drops below uh 11.6 i think it is it'll cut it off anyway so it doesn't allow your battery to get uh, too low but as i say with the adria we've got the well i've got the solar panel on here so it should keep the starter battery topped up anyway so we'll get on with installing that and have a look where we're going to fit it i'll say first i'll download the app i'll connect it all up via um the cigarette lighter socket and just sort of have a look to see where i'm going to put it because on my van I've got the um, behind the mirror I've got the big sensor there the cameras and everything for the lane assist and the uh, the stop and everything else the emergency braking so I'm gonna have to just decide where I'm going to position it so that that isn't actually in in the view of the the halo so let's get on with it so it's powered up so uh, into the cigarette lighter there so I'll do what it's asked me to do now and I'll insert the SD card. So I've decided I'm going to put it just there. I'll be closer up. But, and then I'm going to um, route the wires. So that's it um, stuck to the windscreen. As you can see, you can't see it from the driving position, uh, which you don't need to, of course. You can see it just tucked neatly behind there, so I'll hardwire that in now. We'll just have a look from the front. I think they're very uh, discreet and stealthy looking, so we'll have a look from the front, from the outside, and see what it looks like from there. Yeah, and there it is. Hardly noticeable, really. And you can 
can see the uh, other camera above it which is for the uh, lane assist and emergency stop. So the next bit I want to do now is install the uh, hard wiring kit which is this which will end up in the fuse box. So I'm going to kind of route it around the, the van. As you can see the camera there is installed and I did just test it with a supplied wire that comes with it as standard. That one there that's plugged in and I just kind of run it down there and down there and then into the cigarette lighter there and this is all what's supplied with it but um, so it works great with that to be honest but uh, it just switches off when the ignition switches off so I'm going to put the hard wiring kit in I'm going to wire it up there and then along there along the headlining and then I think I'm going to bring it across here somewhere and then uh, through there down there and then all the way down to the fuse box which is here so there's a couple of torque screws on there but i'll show you when i go into the fuse box because i'll take all that off just so it's a little bit easier uh, and show you that when i connect it and when i find the uh, correct uh, fuse to tap off to get a constant live because obviously with this model it's got the parking meter uh, parking monitor so uh should be able to um, view it when uh, you're parked up at night as well so you'll be able to view what's going on outside your van as well which will be useful I think because you can view that on your phone so if you hear a noise outside when you're wild camping that'll be uh, quite good I think you probably can't see that on there but, but that's all neatly pushed away that's not going to pop out there so that's hidden, hidden behind there gives it a professional look it's all behind that trim there and now we've just got to get it across this corner and then we've got as far as here now so what we need to do now is uh, this part of the puzzle and get it down there so hopefully you can see that bit That's it fed through there now. I'm not going to take this panel off. I was going to do, but because of the blind and stuff, it's going to be a bit more difficult. So that I'm happy with that. Um, I just fed it through behind the rubber. And we just need to get it all the way down to the fuse box. Yeah, so there's a couple of torque screws. That's a T25. There's one there and there's one about there. And then this all should drop away. So let's have a look. And there's only two that I can see. now and we can see what we're doing and uh, we can wire this in so that's a fuse box so what we've got to find is a, a fuse there that's permanently live uh, it's got to be permanently live so we can connect this um, unit to it this here which has got a battery monitor and it senses when the battery is low and it'll switch off but in the meantime it'll keep the camera on so it's recording in park mode should uh, anybody interfere with your vehicle um, so we'll get on and find a live now and uh, wire that in right so I'm not actually sure what you can see here but you can see the multimeter there hopefully uh, set on zero now the way to test for a positive live is connect something to earth which will be like that and these particular fuses if you touch on there you can see that's live and likewise the one next to it and if we move over there 
that one's not and the one next to it's not but going back to this you can see that's live putting out 13.81 volts you can touch it at the bottom as well so I'm going to use that one because I know that one's actually um, for the instrument panel so I'll connect it to that one um, so the first thing I've got to do is remove the fuse so we'll move that fuse there I've now got to look for the right uh, connector, which is that one. So, put that, we've got to then put that original fuse in there. Like so. And replace that in there like so. So what we've got to do now, we've got to connect that into there and that into the earth. I've got to connect that to an earth now, so I'll probably connect it to that if I can get to it yeah that's probably a good bet it connects it to that so for your earth just a matter of connecting taking that bolt off you don't need to take it right off because that should fit in Now it's just a case of connecting this and then hopefully it should spark into life. Active. Yep, and that's made it active. I heard it, I don't know if you did on camera. That's active, so that's working now. We just need to tidy everything up and put it all back together again. So that's it all set up now before I put the cover back on. As you can see there, that's a piggy bank, piggyback fuse, which it's connected to, which goes down there, which then goes into the uh, camera positive wire, and then down there, that's where the negative's connected to. And I've put it all away in there, but I'm going to cover that actually in insulating tape because these wires are quite thin, and obviously with the movement of the vehicle, I don't know what I'm wearing through. So I'm just going to put insulating tape around there before I finish. Then obviously the wire is all behind there. And all the way up. And all the way up. And all the way to the camera. And it's on now and working. I've not set it to parking mode, so it's actually working as it would be. But it's going to be useful because you can change it all in the app. So I'm going to be able to... Uh, get a live view at night time from inside without switching the lights on or anything so that'll be pretty good so you can see what's going on outside but if you set it to parking mode on the app then obviously it'll only come on when it's uh, knocked or whatever so uh, we'll have a look at that and uh, show you through the app in a minute connecting camera and as you can see everything switched off I haven't got the ignition or anything on, so it's got a live view now. So basically that's showing what's at the front of the vehicle. I shall move round to the front and you should see me. So um, that's going to be useful at night on the blinds up, being able to see what's going on. So uh, I think there's various settings on there. So let's have a look. Um, camera settings um, it's set to 1080p 
go to uh, camera setting, advanced settings, and we've got post parking video mode. G sensor sensitivity is low at the moment and it's dormant, but you can set it on time lapse, normal record, or obviously dormant at the bottom. So we'll set it at normal record. And you can set there, you can see it's got an auto shutdown time as well. So you can set that for however long you want to leave it on for when you uh, park up. So I'm going to set that for six hours. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what the app does. I'll go back to camera. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So, uh, yeah, we'll fix everything back up together. So that's it uh, tidied up a bit. Um, just with some black insulating tape and stuff, and I've stuffed some packing in there to stop the, uh, the battery monitor thing uh, wobbling about, shaking about as we're driving. So I'll put the cover back on now and job done. As you can see, no... Uh, trailing wires anywhere so it looks a lot more professional than if you've just got it stuck in the cigarette lighter everything's hidden so there's nothing available to see uh, and it's all uh, done and dusted i've started the engine everything all works as normal so that's the job done uh, if you considered it useful Please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, you will get notified of future videos that I do because I'm going to do quite a few more on various mods. I've got some in the pipeline as well. Uh, you will get notified. Maybe you don't want to be notified, but uh, consider it anyway. And uh, so that was really, you know, installing the Halo Go. Um, but any uh, dash cam would be pretty similar, to be fair. Um, they all they all install in a similar way. Uh, and if you buy a dash cam, they normally come with a, a cigarette lighter socket wiring setup. But you just got to buy a, a hard wire setup, which is normally about twenty pound. Uh, and I noticed that in Alfred's, most of theirs actually you can uh, get hard wiring kits for them, uh, and it's a fairly easy job to do. Um, so I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Cheers.